come visit your pub. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Blessings of the divine upon you, good sir. My husband and I were just sitting down for a picnic under the sun. Wonderful. Come, sit, sit. There you go, all cosy. So tell me, are you heading to Arks like we are? Nicholas and I wouldn't miss Lucian's day for the world. Oh, but you must visit the cathedral. Please do. So come, let us break bread and strengthen our... You eat, drink and have a good time of it with Glory and her husband, Nicholas. Greetings! May the Seven circle you and keep you safe. Ah, oh, it's a wonderful day, and with good reason, too. Oh, for isn't it why, only a few days ago, I was writhing in pain, having... But then a fellow pilgrim passed by, laid his hands upon my feverish skin, and just like... Alas, I cannot say who he was, but I can say what he was. Fills my heart with gladness to know that there are still folks like him. To... May the Seven keep him. May they keep all of us. My inkwell is dry, fix me the puzzle. Bellwether, I need those records. I'm watching you, stranger. The Magister startles, realizing there's a str What do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody... Well, mind your bloody step in future. I've an investigation to... Yes, a vile little tinkerer goes by the name of Higba. Three of my magisters have gone missing of late from right here in drift... Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever... If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the... Well, do you know anything? Stop wasting my time, then. The Magister turns to you with a scowl. He already seemed immense. What? The Magister glances at you like you're... Keep out of it! I'll have you with my sword if you don't mind your own business. That's what I want to know. Stuck here with... The new leadership ought to learn to respect its veterans. We're the ones who uphold... A sly smile. Aye, and sooner than you might think, if the rumours are true. Let's just say... There's other places where I'd be appreciated more. Who asked you? You're not even supposed to be down here. Keep out of it. You'd better move on. Nelson, my inkwell is cool, dry. Sir. Fetch me the right way. in there, mister. The Meister isn't home and they were very angry about it. They said mean things about the Meister and they left the mayor. She's my friend. She was one of the Magisters once. She was very... But then she stopped that and just stayed in the house all the time. She used to play with... I'm not allowed outside the village. She looks around theatrically to see... When the wind blows from over the stream, I can hear the... I can hear her... She gives you a look of the darkest meaning. Then she takes a deep breath, puts on a hat. The door has been sealed shut. The magisters have nailed a note. The notice reads, Warning, do Meister Siever has been accused of conspiracy, murder, and anyone found trespassing on these premises before her trial concludes. You notice that the message is signed, Magister Raymond, in the name of Dallas Most Holy. This place has seen better days.
you see yourself in the mirror. It's quite a sight. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the dial turns freely under your fingers. You give it a couple of spins, yet nothing. The dial turns free. The dial turns. The dial. The dial. No amount of sheer force you exert can budge the slab. The dial turns freely under your fingers. You give it a couple of spins, yet nothing happens. If this. The dial. 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 Maybe we should find the Meister. Malady seemed to think she could help. Play. She's outside the gates. I can't go outside the gates. It's very dangerous. When the wind blows, I can hear. She gives you. Oh, great, a citizen. Can't you see I'm on a break here? What? Go tell Magister Raymond or Magister Julian immediately. They'll raise... Head nodding drowsily, the Magister brings her voluminous sleeve up to her face. She sniffs loudly. They won't take me unawares. I'm... I'm ready for anything. See? I have incepted. It... Well, I'm... Why whoever snapped in Magisters off the street and disappearing them? Six Waving you away, she cranes her neck to scan all of I have to stop these disappearances. My career. Keep your business to Magister Carver or... The Magister's jaw is tightly clenched as he... St what? Well, stop wasting my time then. I still am. Yes? Have you? You're lucky to stand. Magister's dropping left and right. Your eyes peel. She nods an uninterested oh, greet. Here for the fight. This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Well, I look forward to beating the shite out of you. Hey. Ah, finally! Your colleague over there is on a boat of the house stew, if you please. Oh, pity. I've been trying to get a little something to eat all day. After all I've been through... He lowers his gaze, then looks up at you expectantly. His lip trembles. It's my mentor. My dear mentor. He was... killed. No. Now here I sit, my closest companion gone. Our precious cargo worth more than loot, and the waiter won't even bring me any stew. Oh, then perhaps my luck has changed. Tell me, how are you with, well, Void Woken? Ah, oh, terrific news. My mentor, Liam, and I were hauling in a goodly number of... He made short work of Liam. May the gods rest his soul. I managed to escape, but my precious cargo was left behind. We'd invested our entire livelihood in those weapons. Of course. Of course. Now, give me your map. 
I'll show you just where to look. I can't tell you how thoroughly you... A prim woman in a starched apron wipes a glass with a clean rag. She pins you with blue... Blessings upon our Lucian, seven times divine. She looks at you. She looks at your hand. She looks back at you. Either the human is an imbecile, or that's not the correct response. The soft lines of her face fold into a warm smile. I see your mother raised you very well indeed. You and my Niles would get along. Nice to see an unfamiliar face. What brings you to Driftwood, darling? Yes, that's my boy. Did you know him? Finest physician in all of Reaper's Coast. Top of his class. My, but it's been too long. A fine physician indeed. That's my boy. Some say all a growing child needs is food and sunshine. I say abstinence and oh, but it's so good to meet a friend of Niles. Here, have a little something to eat. Niles' fate. No one in our little town can appreciate work so fine as his, you know. All his instruments and books are stored away upstairs, all but forgotten. It's such a terrible waste. Well, if he ever comes back. Anyhow, what can I get you? All the same. Why, what a sad thing to say. Something drops satisfaction. If that's a euphemism for what I think it is, I'll say it and say it again. Abstinence and chastity, them's the twin roads to a long and happy life. You mark my words. Oh, I find that hard to believe. We're all the same, aren't we? Of course there is. I'm the barkeep and you're the customer. There's a point. The sun is shining. You shouldn't spend so much time inside that noggin of yours. We've only got amber ale, I'm afraid. Can't coming right up, darling. An elf sways on her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses. She slides one of the drinks towards you. Her and the apps. The drink has barely any effect on you. Bar of cold. Mm. Nothing like a. She slides another glass of ale toward you. It's. Bottoms up. Can you just. Mm. Her gaze swivels around the. Damien's dull knife. This place is horrible. Another. Give me one good reason. She dumps a heavy arm around your shoulder and pulls you in close. Her breath hot and... Look it. She shows you the two swollen, angry red welts on the underside of her arm. She slaps them without finesse, making herself... I know how to make it better. I can fix it all. There's a... See, there's this woman. She's downstairs. And... And... And now I'm different. It's in her lips. I change the right way. And then, and then, you understand how, you know, sometimes you just want to be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She looks at you earnestly, her eyes gleaming. I seem good, don't I? That's a fine voice. That idyllic poetry. Good, he fixes you with a stare, looks you up and down, weighs you up. Then a smile creases his face. A smile kept... Greetings, stranger. Looking to ease the pain of a decaying world. You're in the right place. A bold choice. Uh, on the... He raises an eyebrow. You have interrupted my newest... The bard clears his throat and gargles on his own saliva. He then returns to... Hmm. Well, never you mind. Every sonnet I... Wait! You might be just the stimulus I needed. I shall craft a rhyme for you and your race. All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a lifetime. Hmm. Normally I'd argue with you. 
But you do have a certain look about you. <laughs> Very well. But if I am to write a first-rate work... He stares at you for a few talk... Your eyes betray the guilt of the human race. You believe it's your right to ravage Rivalon. What say you? He smiles, a crooked smile. Ah, arrogance. That most peculiar of human traits, given your lack of cultural accomplishment. Save the towers you erect in worship of greed. Indeed. You seem almost fearless in your conviction. But I know better. Stripped of their swords and shields, humans are as fragile as flower petals. The bard hems and haws. They're... To all lovers of verse, I bring glorious news. I have to... War drums keep the rhythm of patrol. Humankind establishes control. Arguing with Mac is like giving medicine to the dead. He's as stubborn as a corpse. I don't give a rat's ass what they say downstairs. The Magisters is all that's... Hold it. Papa no no, you no go. He grins. Moha didn't tell me to let anyone of your description in. So why should I? Mm -hmm. It's already mad as a bag of cats down there, and I've no intention of flinging another mage. You again. Mm -hmm. It's already mad. Hey, back away from the stairs. You must be delighted by my newest fame, notoriety, neither, or both. The thing about a good verse is that it wiggles into the ear. Wonderful. But I... He stares at you for... Your eyes betray the guilt of the human grace. He smiled. Ah, indeed. The bard. To all... Bitter march of humans unabated. I don't think you know even a smaller good if he bit you on the arse. Curiosity this town is poor. A weathered woman in a dirty sea captain's tunic babbles breath. The bell rings a warning and the tide is on the turn. And I without my compass. The ship is in the locker. On the bottom in the rocky sh And yet, can you hear? The bell rings on. The bell haunts me, yet I'm haunted by my crew. They ring the bell to drive me mad. Please, make it... She buries her head in her hand. Make it stop. And I'm saying that's a shame it is. An absolute shame. Alexander, slaughtered like a supper lamb. Poor dear. It ain't right. It ain't right. Never thought I'd say this. I hope they round up them sorcerers for good. You said it, Hilga. Hilga jabbers excited. You're willing to risk Fort Joy for what? Yeah? What do you want? Who rings the bell? Huh. I want another beer and a bowl of stew. Which I guess that makes me a sinner. Perhaps you can help us settle an argument. Thatcher here is one of my dearest friends. But Thatcher grins, hello. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards. And Thatcher here still fancies a... They look at you expectantly. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magister. Two magisters. Thatcher doesn't look disrespected. Disrespecting one magister's enough. Go on. She turns back to her drink. Go there, Roy. Yeah? What do you want? And I'm saying you can try Good. To Keep it that way. And you can't be too careful. She yeah? tips you a wink. Weathered and rugged, the man sleeps soundly. <sighs> There's bad things in the caves. <sighs> he goes back. Who rings the bell? Hmm. The chest won't open. Speak the word, and I shall open. Speak the word. No. 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 Still no. I am already. Closed. I did not 
Understood. Do not profane. I am a chest. Is your buffalo? This seems likely. No. Yes, you could. An excellent choice. Of course it's not true. The man sleeps. Ah. Ghost cheese. Smiling faintly in his sleep, the man slumbers on. He wakes. He settles back to sleep. His eyelids rise and he glares. Uh, just you try it, thief. Mother, there's a thing. He settles back to sleep. He snorts. <sighs> Mother, it's so. Then goes back to. The chest sits there. Yes. No. That would be strange. What kind of idiot you speak? For your safety, please stand back. The lock unlocks with a tight. The man slumbers on. He stirs. Mother, no one. And goes back to sleep. Doesn't this room strike you as eerie? But of course, I should hold. Better watch yourself, lad. As you approach the silken robed noble, if and does it. I know this man, and he's not at all what he seems. If and bounds forward and embraces the man, all effusive greetings. As they part, talking animatedly, the man's beard slips. They chatter away for some time, using a guttural cant you struggle to understand. At one point, the man hunkers down and seems to be sketching a rough map. If Anne claps the man on the... Well, now we know the way to the sawmill. And we know Roost thinks... I'm not in love with you. You again. I told you to scram once. Don't make me say it with my fist. You can't buy my bone. You can buy ten seconds of me eyeballs examining the ground for say a small fortune you look like you'd be good for it he pockets the coin what's this i found something Look at that. A fresh face and a pretty... Good to meet you, Governor. What's your poison, Dan? A stick all the time you need. As you're doing business with you, Governor. Aye, so it is. But further down's the arena, see? And the gladiators are always on the look. I give them that. You could say that my dad... So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you... blue? problem in return for a reasonable donation if he digs all kinds of outlets much obliged governor and here's your bland just if an approaches you a drink in his hand and a you don't drink right but how about a chat while we're in a safe well 
He grins and claps you on the back. It's really been some adventure so far, eh? If Anne's eyebrows raise. I... I'd say the same about you. I'm no... Catching your signal. If Anne smiles. Let's, uh... Let's... My good sir, I see that you accompany no other than... Of course he'll be so kind. Speak freely, kinsman. Directions, my lord. I was bid to send you to... He was waiting for... He looks around the hazy room with... The House of Shadows stirs. The Honourable Bram... A little ways east he went. Indeed I am. We will fought... Prince of Princes. He bows deeply before the Red Prince. Are you? No. Watch him fight! House of Shadow, an ominous phrase. It's as if I can feel the onset of night, quite. But you must realize that until a short while ago, the very existence of the House of Shadows was a mystery to us. If this thing of darkness step You still stand by me, then, despite us being targeted. Onward, then. Let them... No! Aloha. You've been living under a boulder. Stick around long enough and you will. Best to get on his good listen up. Don't waste his time. What do you want? Boss is busy. Good. Listen up. I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his wrist. This ain't the thanks who sent you. <laughs> the formidable dwarf slams his fist. Enough! Do you know they killed Anna? Do ya? Start talking sense of... Bart. Cade. Get her to... His sneer travels from the restraint... And you better have a damn good re... Brave lad. All sitting here now. I hope for your sake you've got... I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Family matter. She's one of mine. Acting like her brains are scrammed. Lucky for me, she caught an old wound. Scar slowed down. So, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? I've got people. They've got people. But me? Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers land. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. So? What do you want? Reckon I do. Knowing Siva, she sent you looking. I could help you. But last I heard, you was working for the Magisters. Big shots at the boats. Now, why in the name of all the Earths would I help a worm like that? 
What a load. See if he's got an eye for talent. I reckon I could help you out. Depending on what you can do for me. He gestures toward... Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla, that ain't like Marla. Ain't like... And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any knock. Guy's name is Mordus. Bit of... I sent a few guys to go check on him. See if he knew what a guy... I'd like a word with the guy. Glad you see it, that. No one's seen him in a good few. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to... Good. One more thing. Like I said, more... if there's something you want to find out from him... Here, you can take this off my hands. Good luck. Step off, let's... The battered dwarf pulls her lips... <laughs> Scuffling and tussling. Let's see if you got some fight in ya. Well, that just me in. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. Watch her. Well, you better start caring. Without her approval. On your way then. No, our arena champions are bloody cheat, stranger. Murga tricked me. Watch out for Murga, stranger. She's a formidable. Good gods. Is there a void woken? In the shadows, a dwarven woman spits obscenities down upon a caged void woken. More fodder for the arena. Let Murga... Curling her torn lip back over broken teeth, she grabs your hand and pulls you down to the ale-soaked... Ha! Your science won't... She glimmers in and out of view, merging with the shadows. Crowing, she slams your hand... I bested that void woken below us, you know. Dr Alexander doesn't have to stay dead, does he? I don't want to play. And Dallas will and sorcerers have. S I I don't care if we tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find it. You've been warned. The Magister turns. There's a sorcerer somewhere in this worm-ridden dump. Have you seen him? Lucian's teeth. Where if you see anything suspicious, anything he's a sorcerer, dressed as a tinkerer. Our brother stuff. He fled into this stinking shed, but we'll find him again. We'll have our just The Magister looks at you for a long, hard We have all the evidence we now. I've Bugger off, I'm busy. Hmm. Grisha's still the favourite. The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its... Fascinating. Oh, my... I mean, no, uh, what do you want? With a small grin, the dwarf glances between you and his... Indeed I am. They can close our schools, but they can't take away what I've been taught. Plenty. These tainted fish are causing a lot of hardship. If I can understand what's happening to them, perhaps there'll be a way to reverse the effects. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand. If you are wonderful. Now, there's three. The fish instantly churns your insides. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's some. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boot. I see. Well, I'm sure it was not. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. The dwarf puffs up his chest. The fish is indeed malignant. Humans are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Thank you, but no. I can only allow 
for one specimen. The fish you ate is known as Yellow Ridgeback. Quite a who is to say how such a creature must seek out somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Adding the so now my work must continue. The dwarf peers at a fascinating. Oh my! I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? What's it to you? The dwarf grimaces. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to fess as it happens. Oh, wonderful. Now, the fish instantly churns your in. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. The dwarf suddenly drifts back. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look. I'm sure any discomfort will pass shortly. Besides, I've learned. The dwarf puffs up his. The fish is indeed malignant. Lizards? Ah, yeah. The fish you ate is known as crimson bream. Quite a fast, vicious breed. It's often used in the creation of ferocity. Who is to say what might happen if you brewed a ferocity mixture? Seek out somewhere that peddles ferocity herb mixes. So, now my work must continue as soon as I've got... The dwarf peers. Fascinating. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, I'm gutting fish. What else? Nothing wrong with taking pride in your work. The dwarf, whatever's wrong with these fish, yes, as it happens, this brown, the fish instantly churns your inside. A sudden vivid sense, the dwarfs, how do you feel? A stream of black bile, I'm sure any discomfort will pass shortly. Besides, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I'm in your debt, stranger. Ah, the fish you ate is known as, now this month, find somewhere, so, now my, so much of rat's hair out of place. Tell the my thanks once again, stranger. With your help, well, let me see. You try the yellow find somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Then add the my findings are very well. I'm a the dog sniffs the wooden decking. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. Easy for you to say, mister. You're not smelling what times. The dwarf reaches in. Aye, the coin's sweet, but the smell sure ain't. Mind you, the boss folk. He runs his knife through another fish and flicks the blade, sending a sh. I'd say your guess is as good as mine. Except I got the sense not to act. The dwarf turns back to his work, slicing and disemboweling fish after fish. Looking at the barrel, you see that someone has scrawled Black House on it in paint. You cast your... Here! Leave them barrels alone! looks you up and down, a scowl of repulsion on his face. Ain't no one been standing together since Lucian died. Ain't been no goodwill among your kind or my... Glad to hear you say it. The day will come we'll overthrow him, you mark my words. Fugitive? Ah, yeah. I don't think that's something I should be discussing with strangers, because I don't intend to end up with me lips stitched. No, no, I shan't be baited. I ain't say... I said no, and I meant it. Hmm, what can I do for you, lad? Aye. Ever heard of that place? Fort Joy? Pish posh. No. Like I said, they're either dead or... You see a man, well-fed and wealthy, but he tries to ignore your presence. Fails. See here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arks are held up. If that's some kind of riddle, I ain't about to play along. Now, 
Unless you've got some fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to Ark. Now, please, when you've been in business as long as I have, you learn that there's a market for everything. A dark shadow. Sometimes it finds you. That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. Not before time. You see him? He I'm fit. A sophisticated. A dark. Sometimes. That's privileged information. An excellent point. Well made. The answer to your question is, unsurprisingly, a man in a... That dark shadow... Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. When you've been in business as long as I have, you learn not to question these things too closely. Careful now, that's a trap. Careful now, that's a trap. This place stinks. But some of these barrels look interesting. Lucky find. My thanks once again, stranger. With your help... Don't you come near... Hmm, what could I do for it? Like I said... He glances up. I'm busy. Good. This must be the place Loha mentioned. It looks unassuming enough. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch. She calmly opens her... What do you want? The dwarf unfolds... All right, human. Well, Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. i got to send word soon. Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks. That weird priest been hanging around Loha for ages. Now nah, he's vanished. Those half-wits below will know more. Get to it then. But tell... Maybe if we had a crowbar. What's this? I found something. 
You got rocks knocking around that dog in a yard. There we go. The door's opening. By Duna's dagger. You here to free us or kill us? The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That's not most priests. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Mordus is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get... No, I ain't gonna be pleased. Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny, not so... Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. She taps her finger. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Best we head off then. We've got business. The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes of your words are swallowed by the chamber's thick air. The stone is cold against your palm. If this figure... Loha will want to know of this. This shrine to Duna may have been quite beautiful. The stone is cold against your palm. Your words are swallowed by the chip. This shrine to Duna may have been quite beautiful before it was so horribly defeated. This shrine to Duna may the stone is your words as
You run your hands along the exterior until your fingers graze the... There's no mistaking the sound of stone. I've spotted something. A skull. It's missing a a a skull. It's missing an eye. As far as long a skull. It's yes. Hail, darling. She draws you in, her lips dangerous. Mm. Oh, yes. I have something that... Are you worthy of my gift? Oh, Safa. Too inebriated to keep her lips tight. Not inebriated. I can't. Not yet. First, you must look into my ring. Gaze into the jet. She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are flo- On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you- Mmm, yes. I see you- Mmm. It is immortality you desire, as, in return, I ask for one- A kiss. Most delicious. Meet me around the corner and come alone. And Your friends should leave. Your friends should leave. Dorothea sees you and heaves a shuddering. Darling, I admit I wish we could sh- But I'm afraid I can't bear to press my lips. You are you, but more. you look to your hands, your belly, your fingers trace a lot. Most. You draw closer, yet her lips do not press against yours. And a ha
right where I want you. You thought it was you? How unfortunate for you. You see... I came prepared for the occasion. I need aid! Make this hurt ya. Better get out there before Moldus makes it all the way past Arx. I asked you for a man, not a note. He takes the letter from your hands and reads it quickly. Bloody God, this is bad. Not just for me and mine. Not just hell if I know, but it don't sound good. Seems as though Mordus wasn't mine after. Of course. That's why I have. Listen up, I need your help. We all do. Mordus has his hands on something dang. Look, me and mine, we move classified cargo. T trouble is, we came across something no one ought to have. I ordered it to be destroyed. I guess that can't happen. The less you know, the better. Trust my people had an operation up in the caves outside town. Good access to... Haven't heard from them in a couple of days now. I thought maybe we'd lost the messengers. I bet my lucky left foot Mordus is in the cave. You got pray to whoever you pray to that it ain't. Finally, someone with a little skimmy of your map. I'll show you where we were operating. I don't want to know what'll happen if he gets what he's after. <laughs> 